Hello dear learners, I am Dr. Jyoti Mathur, Associate Professor, Department of Economics, the Bhopal School of Social Sciences. Welcome to this module on wages, its concept and types. In today's session, you will learn about introduction to wages, meaning of wages, definition of wages, types of wages and the concept of money wages and real wages. Wages play a central role in the distribution of both the supply and demand of labor, which determine both employment and unemployment through market forces. Also, wages can be regarded as the most important source of individual income, which determine their well-being. Study of the different concepts of wages will strengthen your economic understanding. The concept of wages is very significant and extremely interesting. Labor is a very important factor of production. The reward of labor for providing factor services is called wages. Wages in economics is the price paid to the labor for its contribution to the process of production. The term wages has been defined as the price paid for the services rendered in production by labor, whether mental or physical. It includes all payments like allowances or bonus which are made to labor. Labor is an important factor of production. If there is no labor to work, all other factors be it land or capital will remain idle. Thus, Karl Marx termed labor as the creator of all value. However, labor cannot produce as most of the production is the result of joint efforts of different factors of production. The share of the produce paid to labor for its production activity is called wages. Let us look into some important definitions of wages. In the words of Benham, wages are the sum of money paid under contract by an employer to worker for services rendered. Another definition is being given by Professor A. H. Hansen. According to him, wages are the payment to the labor for its assistance to production. Let us talk about the different types of wages. The first type of wage under discussion is peace wages. Peace wages are the wages paid according to the work done by the worker. To calculate the peace wage, the number of units produced by the worker are taken into consideration. Equally important is time wages. If the laborer is paid for his services according to time, it is called as time wages. For example, if a labor is being paid rupees 200 per day, it will be termed as his time wages. Cash wages. It refers to the wages paid to the laborer in terms of money. The salary paid to a worker is an instance of cash wages. Wages can also be paid in kind. When the laborer is paid in terms of goods rather than cash, it is called kind wages. These type of wages are quite popular in rural areas. The other kind of wage is contract wage. Under this type, the wages are fixed in the beginning for complete work. For instance, if a contractor is told that he will be paid rupees 25 lakh for the construction of the building, it will be termed as contract wages. Dear learners, let us discuss the two main concepts of wages, money wages or nominal wage and real wages. Money wage or nominal wage are the total number of money received by the labor in the process of production. Real wages means 
translation of money wages in real terms or in terms of commodities and services that money can buy that is the purchasing power of money they refer to the advantages of workers occupation that is the amount of necessities comforts and luxury of life which the worker can command in return of his services higher the purchasing power of money higher will be the real wages lower the purchasing power of money lower will be the real wages let us talk about the determinants of real wages the first determinant of real wages is level of money wages it refers to the fact that if there is an increase in nominal wage then real wage would also increase therefore there is a direct relationship between nominal wages and real wages purchasing power of money the purchasing power of money and the price level are inversely proportional to each other this implies that if the price level is high then the purchasing power will be low and as a result the real wages would also be very low purchasing power of money the purchasing power of money and the price level are inversely proportional to each other this implies that if the price level is high then the purchasing power will be low as a result the real wages would also be low real wages are directly influenced by the purchasing power of money or price level the purchasing power of individual is different in different location and different time period in small towns purchasing power of money is high and as a result real wages are also high the other determinant of real wages are extra income the real wages of a worker is also influenced by the possibility of supplementary or supplementing income for example tips for waiters increase their real income in the same manner extra facilities provided to a labor also influences their real wages in case a worker gets free medical aid rent free accommodation then in that case his real wages will be high regularity of employment it also increases the real wages an individual can distribute his expenditure if his income is regular this increases his real wages nature of work also influences real wages some profession have high incidence of risk a laborer working in a mine runs the risk of an accident so even if his money wages is high his real wages would be low duration of work hours of work holidays etc also determine the real wages if two workers in different industries receive equal money wages but if the working time per day is 5 hour in one industry and in the other industry the working time is 8 hours per day then the real wages is more in the industry with small duration of work trade or job expenses they also influence significantly the real wages of a worker the real wages enjoyed by a worker depends also on account of professional expenses a teacher has to spend on books publication research journals to keep his or her knowledge updated while an officer getting an equal salary has no such expenses to that extent the officer's real income is higher the cost of professional training doctors engineers lawyers spend large amount of money on training and even spend a large number of years during their studies in calculating their real income the cost of training should be deducted from their money wages good future prospects a job 
having bright prospects of promotion shall be having a higher real wages than another job with the same money wage but with little future prospects social status also influences the real wages some jobs have great social status attached to them such as the services of ias and ips having a higher real wages extra work without payment also influences the real wages if a person has to work overtime without payment then his real wages will be low in comparison to a person who is working for fixed hours dear learners in today's module we have done introduction meaning and definition of wages its type concept of money wages and real wages to conclude i will say that the concept of wages is very important from an economic point of view as wages are a significant part of the cost of production it influences the prices of goods commodities and services propensity to consume and invest in an economy dear learners i hope this module has created a conceptual understanding of different concept of wages thank you all for watching and happy learning